Alright, hello and welcome to Zen Dudettes to Craftopia. Uh, it's a new game, uh, well not really new, it's new to Game Pass, came out in July on Game Pass, but it actually came out in September uh, 4th of 2020. Um, so, it is an early kind of like alpha kind of game, as you can see it's not even at 1.0 yet. However, it is a game that I really actually fell in love with quite fast. Um, I don't think I've played a game like this as much since Dark Souls or Grounded. Um, I spent 12 or 12 to 15 hours yesterday playing it. So I've already made a world, I've already made a character, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a new little playthrough for you guys since I've already got kind of the gist of it and I really enjoy it. Uh, so let's do this. So as you guys can see, that's Wafu. <laughs> uh, we're going to make a male character this time. Give him a little bit of a tan. I don't like the hair. We'll fix the face. Eye color blue, because I have blue eyes. Make those brown. Oh, hold on. Oop. Too fast. <laughs> Give him some cool, slick back looking hair. Look at that. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, is there brown? Is there brown? No, there is not. It'd be kind of weird. Ooh. Blue hair. Others. Beard coming soon. He is a man. I cannot wait for the elf and demon races. That'd be so cool. So yeah, you can choose man and woman, unknown, or not ethical, you know, with the whole gender thing going on right now. So yeah, the game gives you some more leeway than you'd think. Character's name. Yeah. The Dutinator. <laughs> Just cause. <laughs> Alright. Uh, big red button. This is so funny. You blow up the world. I love it. Like, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, but I did it. Of course, they're blo leaf blowing right next to my window. Go figure. Hello? Oh, yeah, I forgot her. This is a god, apparently. Supposedly. Welcome to Titanator. Do you remember the Earth? Nope. <laughs> Crouch, punch. I mm -mm. think I might make him a fist based guy. I don't know. Honestly, if you guys want to read that bottom part, you guys can. I, I didn't pay attention to it the first time. I guess I'm kind of paying attention to it now. Uh, so the destruction of the world eventually would have happened, but I destroyed it. <laughs> Go figure. Leave it to Dot. But the great god Krail decided to grant another chance to mankind and you all. So apparently she's a goddess and then Krail's another god. Be the new world, a craftopia. Down the righteous path. I don't want to lead it down the righteous path. I want to lead it down some... I've never noticed all these towers. What the heck? Hello? Can I walk this way? Oh, it's water! <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll get the Craftopia in a second. I wonder what's out here first. What was that? No! What did I do? <gasps> Aw. I'm gonna create a new world. I'm gonna call it the... Dino Army. Because Dino Dutch World, or the Dino World, or. Yeah, Dino's World is my own playthrough thing, so. Kind of come here. It's where I've kind of, like, done a bunch of stuff. Look, see what I can do. We're going to make this guy feast. To cuffs. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Introduction. Welcome to the world of Craftopia. Leave it up here for a second if you guys want to pause and look at it. You do progress through the ages, so keep in mind the higher the age, better equipment you can craft. And then it's got this altar of transportation, which you have to get certain resources and stuff to unlock different islands. But your basic starting world island, you can talk to all of these people for stuff. You know, collecting wood and stone. Mm -hmm. Run. You can collect items with X. Run. I said run. 
View and inventory? Hmm. Run. They also drop eggs, so it's good for food. <laughs> you want to get food in the beginning. They do respawn, so don't feel bad about that. You can use controller, of course, because it's on Xbox Game Pass. If you have Game Pass, it's free for Game Pass users. And you can gain levels by killing these people. Uh, you do get a skill point. Uh, first one you invest in is called Dodging. Uh, you can go to these other ones like Combat, Magic, Living, Trick. Tamer, you actually have to get a specific class thing when you level up. Uh, I would recommend getting the dodge action, otherwise the first dungeon boss is kind of a pain. I didn't talk to him. Oh well. Uh, workbench. Kill him. Level 3 already? <laughs> Altar of Civilization. Hmm. Picking on all the other people. There you go. There's chest, of course. Ooh, give me a bow. That's interesting. Best part about swimming is, if you sprint while swimming, you will lose stamina. So as you can see there. I'm kind of sprinting, using staminers. But, you can stop and regain your stamina. So I haven't drowned yet. You might be able to, but I haven't found that out yet. So, it's not too bad. Jump, run, beat up a sheep. Ow, hello. Combat. There's these little blob things in the beginning. They're kind of cool. Complete these little things like gatherings and stuff, gain levels. It's actually pretty fun. Like the beginning's kind of you know interesting. Like wood axe, you can go through here, craft. Make you a wood axe. I really like this game because it, it, it's like really chill. Like you have a survival based aspect. As you can see in the bottom right hand side, I almost said left. You do have a um, a food bar. But it's honestly not that restrictive as you would think. Like it's actually pretty chill. It's pretty, pretty laid back. It's actually not bad. I'm not going to lie. Easiest way to mine ore, if you ask me, is jump in the air and boom. Otherwise, you just sit here and one, two, three, four, five. Like I could jump twice and be done, or I can do this and be a boss. <laughs> so you know, there's, there's a couple fun little things you can do. Let's see, ten thirty logs. Go ahead and do that. And straw. Funny enough, these count as trees. And you get straw from them. And peppers and stuff. Like, it really depends on what you're going to get. Like, you, you can get a bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. But you complete, basically, you go through here, these little mission things. They will give you extra reward like items. So, like, you'll get, like, material inventory, skill points, all that good kind of jazz. So, you can. You don't get like items as far as I know yet to increase your inventory and stuff, but you do get these little missions that do help you upgrade them, so it's actually really nice. Um, you know, it's not bad, it just kind of helps you out, and then of course, we said we're going fist. Ooh, I actually leveled that a lot more than I probably should have. There is a little radar you're going to get that helps you identify where chests are at and stuff later in the game. To be honest. If you want to hear a loud dee 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 nonstop, then yeah. Come here, chickens. Come here, you little chicken. Come here. Come here. Hua! Hua. Wait. Hold on, I got this still equipped. I need to unequip that. Dang it. Hold on. Alright. Oh. I'm actually surprised I did six damage to the rocket. It didn't tell me it was not. Not a good thing to you. Okay. <laughs> Come here, you chicken. This whole first video can't be me ch chasing the chicken trying to kill it. You really? I love this thing. <laughs> yeah, those go flying. I forgot. Ow. Mm. And you can capture little pets and stuff, which is pretty cool, too. I'm not going to lie. 
So, there's that. This is copper ore, of course. These are actually healing items you get. When, uh... You get little healing items and stuff you can make with a crafting, like a potion crafting thing. Cows, of course, give meat and milk. You want to want milk for cheese and stuff later on. You can't do it quite yet, but you will want that good stuff. Overall, it's, it's a really chill, fun little game to start off with and play. Um, I really enjoy it. Like I said, I haven't played a game like this to the addiction that I've played since I've played Minecraft, or Grounded, not Minecraft. Uh, so I find it just really enjoyable, honestly. You can do so much. Look at that, I'm already... I'm almost max level with Feast. Look at that damage. Hmm. Almost as much, it's almost as much as my swords in the other game, in my other playthrough. Jeez Louise. Actually, it might be as much as my swords. Not my newest swords, though. 280% attack. You can get fist-based weapons. Um, you do have to make that. Let's see. I have to make a workbench. Like, it's just a super fun little game. Like, climb stuff, of course. Like, it's just... It's awesome. I, I really like it. You'll find other stones like this. And you'll take a pickaxe. But as you can see, you need a weapon level 3. I believe this is level 1. Hold on, let's find out real quick, actually. I probably shouldn't pull that out for that. Oh, hold on a second. I can actually beat these with my fist. Might be because I'm high enough level to do that. Obviously, you're not going to get as good materials out of this as if you use a pickaxe. But apparently, I'm a boss enough that I can beat things with my fist. So, yeah. <laughs> You'll get a glider that you can use, which is really convenient for jumping off high places. Um, one of the things I'd recommend... If you're jumping off something high, right near the end, boom, just use RT on something like your pickaxe or something. It will save you from getting hurt, which is actually super convenient. Come here, skeleton pirate. Uh, uh. You not put up bear. Put a bunch of fight. Come here. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Uh. I've killed many of bears on my other game. But yeah, no, like, it's it's super chill. You just have some fun. Like, you can see I've got more missions completed. As you play, you just kind of progress the missions. More inventory. I got another skill point. I mean, like, I, I love it. I'm not going to lie. It is a fun game. Like, I'm talking a lot, too, which usually I don't do. <laughs> but I just I have a lot of fun playing it. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's actually fun. You can get dual wielding. So you can dual wield swords and stuff. It's actually really legit. Not gonna lie. Um, let's see. Bow. Let's see. What can we get? I haven't really looked at all this stuff. Uh, I can get a battle him. I don't really use the skills before. I actually just go through mainly fighting stuff. Is the funny thing. Um. Get magic. Maybe I should get magic since I'm using my fist. You know what? Why not? Let's do it. Um, here we go. Oh, okay. This is how it works. Cool. Let's see. Let's put that right there. Huh. Nice. I haven't used magic on my other playthrough, so it, that's actually really cool. And then right here in my other game, <laughs> there is a dino tower. I'm not going to lie. It's already starting. Um, it is intimidating when you come back to like your little place like this. Um, it is very intimidating to look at, I'm not going to lie. It is uh, scary. And y'all should have known that Dino, of course, was going to make a Dino Tower. So I think what we'll do is we'll do this speed dungeon real quick just to kind of show you all what's in here. And then uh, we'll call it the end of the first video. Uh, you know, just kind of show you what's going on. Teleport. Uh... Never mind, maybe this isn't the speed dungeon. Oh, this is a diff this is a different world, so everything's different. Alright, well we're doing our first dungeon apparently. I might die here. If I'm being 100 percent honest. We are gonna see how this works out. 
Because everything should be 12. No. Oh, they're all low levels. Not like my world. Uh, 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 Turn that off. You guys don't need no light. You don't need no light in my world, homies. A different, I forget that this is procedurally generated, so things can be different. You know what? We want to make our heal a little bit stronger. Grab all the chests you can. Werewolf sacks, huh? Also, you can break pots, of course, and barrels. Get, like, little cooking items. Uh, be careful with the campfire. I'm going to warn you all now. The campfire is um, interesting, to say the least. I may or may not have trouble with trying to not run into it. <laughs> I I light myself on fire a lot, okay? Me and fire don't get along on this. Me and Fi Fi just do not have good times. And there's some of these mage dudes here that shoot fireballs at ya. Uh, uh, uh. Goblin Bard. Healer down. Man's just trying to cast a fireball. Come here, shaman. Come here. Uh, blue chest, of course, get better items. Oh, hello. Ow. Uh, uh, uh. Where are you? Uh. You can hold if you're using a controller. Just hold the trigger and it keeps going. I have a habit of keep using it, honestly. Ah, I was really hoping that I would get a uh, a fist-based weapon. Because uh, you can get a fist-based weapon. I've only got it once, though, in my other game. Look at that heal. Mm. Delicious. Increase that heal again because we're gonna need that. Lightning bolts. I think we'll use heals and heals and magic, or I, I mean, magic and fist. <laughs> heals and magic. Oh my gosh. Num nut that. It's in here. Copper ingots. Those actually help because you can make next level stuff. There is a speed dungeon. I don't know if it's gonna be on here, but there's a woman named Fran. You can actually capture her. Which is kind of funny, and uh, tame her to be your pet. Which is kind of awkward. Uh, basically, she will give you piggyback rides. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit interesting. It's kind of awkward, I'm not going to lie. I knew that was coming. He messaged me. Alright, this guy's first up is kind of annoying to fight in the beginning. He's got a fireball attack that is devastating. Uh oh, here we go. Recommend dodging until you can get behind these pillars, or just get behind these pillars. His core is the weak point, obviously. So if you can get up there, or when he like lays down. Oh, he's already doing that again. He doesn't do this this very this often usually. Of course, bosses have a lot more health. Oh, front side does more. Uh, uh. Attack ten times within five seconds. Uh-oh. Uh uh. Rolling gives you some invulnerability, I believe. And since he wants to be down here, fighting me on my level... Um... I don't believe this has ever happened to me before, but whatever. <laughs> I haven't fought many bosses in my game. Yeah, try me now. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. If you stick close to his legs, obviously he's a super easy fight. Because he can't hit hard anything. That attack, no matter where you're at, this beam attack, where he shoots those, they will cause fireballs. That will hit you even if you're underneath him, so be careful of that. But, yeah, just beat him up. Uh, uh, uh. Eventually he'll die. <laughs> uh. Shouldn't have done that, dude. 
Iron Sword, mid-grade. Another boss? What the world? Okay, I'll fight you too, fine. This... I know this has happened to Bradley before, but I've never had this happen where the boss is just spawned immediately. Come on, you wanna fight? Mm. Show you the power of these fists. Uh oh, uh oh, stuck. Woo hoo hoo, that was close. I was not prepared for that attack. Come on, man. You got a lot of HP still. Uh oh. And roll. Oh, that got me. Ah, that got me again. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, making me look like a jump now. Uh oh, ho, 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 ho. I suppose I could leave him alone and just go get my rewards, but I want to kill him. This is actually not bad because he drops decent weapons. Might even get a chance to get my fist weapon. Ooh, nice 23. Come on. 30. Dodge. this before um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here um, I've never had this happen before so I am I, I, I don't understand that's interesting um, now he's floating in the sky. <laughs> this is this is really an, a first, any first for this video. At least for me. Come here, you iron golem. You iron eye on golem. Mm. Uh oh, trying to lead me into a false sense of security. Nice try. Let's get him. Let's finish this. Mm. Alright. Let's get out of here before a third one possibly spawns. Woo! Okay. Well, first dungeon, dudes and dudettes, was successful. Let's see what rewards we got. We already hit level 11, so it's actually quite easy to level up, like I said. It's not a hard game. Uh, it's super chillax. Somebody cleared the dungeon. Night sword, eight hours of working, okay. A wooden axe. Um, dang. Nothing we really wanted here. I don't believe. Let's see. So like, you know, you, you get good money, like that's 2,000. Uh, some cheap money. Obviously, you know, better axes means, you know, better against like enemies, because you get like crit chances and stuff, like the little blue stuff. I wouldn't recommend an axe personally, but that's just me. Um, let's go through here. See if we got anything. Let's go ahead and almost max out our heal. How much does it use now? Let's see. 
Cost 10 mana, but it heals me for 65% of my life. Not bad, not bad. All right, well, you know what? Let's go through here. And of course, he has to message me again. <laughs> but anyways, dudes and dudettes, we'll call that the end of the video. If you do like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your families. And uh, maybe come and play some Craftopia. We can play on multiplayer because it's two to eight online co-op. It'd be super fun. But I will catch you dudes and dudettes in the next video. Stay classy.